wife's not. She's holding the camera. All right. This is like my biggest order of tackle I've ever done. And that's a lot of Guggen bait. A lot of Guggen baits. They're taking over my tackle box. You should see my wife's face right now. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Devil Dog Outdoors. Today it's an unboxing video and yes, I unboxed everything already because it is a lot of stuff. When I tell you Guggen is taking over my tackle box this season, I'm not lying. So we're going to start from the back side here. I'm going to show you guys. This is the Mondo Worm 7.25 inch 8 pack natural color. I got three packs of those. The Mondo Worm 7.25 inch green pumpkin. Three of those. Mondo Worm 7.25 inch 8 pack black blue flake. I got five of those. Oh boy. The Dragon Drop Natural 9 pack. I got five of those. Plan on doing some drop shotting this year. Let's see how that goes. Dragon Drop Green Pumpkin Pearl 9 pack. I got five of those. Oh boy. I'm going to do the soft plastic first and knock all that out of the way. The Lunker Log 5 inch 8 pack. 5 of those. Oh, black and blue flake too, by the way. Alright, the Bandito Bug 7 pack pearl. Pearl color. 3 of those, just adding to what I already have in my tackle box. Trust me, I got more Guggen baits in my tackle box and it's mostly soft plastics i don't have any other hard baits in my tackle box yet but as you can see on this table i'm gonna have plenty of their hard baits as well we got the trench hog 4.65 inch nine pack summer crawl color i got five of those trench hog 4.65 inch nine pack blue baby Five of those. Let's see here. All right. So, this was kind of an accident, but in a way, it pays off to kind of have more anyways. So, I wanted to buy two of every hard bait, and I ended up getting four of this one. This is the Mini Recon Citrus Shed. That's going to suck because of the camera, the phone, but, yep, mini recon. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to rotate the camera one sec. That's better. Okay. Mini recon. Focus. Citrus Shad. I got four of those. Uh, mini recon... I guess that says, I can't even pronounce that word, and y'all probably think I'm stupid for it, but I wanted to call it the Sriracha Crawl. <laughs> I got two of those, Mini Recon. Another Mini Recon, Sexy Shad, two of those. I feel like that one's going to be a freaking plus this year. Another Mini Recon. Mondo Shed. I feel like that one there is going to be another plus. Alright. Banger. Square Bill. Chartreuse. Blue Back. I feel like a lot of these are going to be key to having the tackle box. Another Banger. Sexy Shad. Banger. Mondo Shad. 
banger. Chartreuse, black back. That one right there is going to be killer to have in the tackle box too. I feel like a lot of these lures are just going to be killing it on the water this year. The fact that I'm entering tournaments, shoot. Citrus Shad on the banger. I got two of each of those. So, two, 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 two. All right. I'll get to those in a second. I'm pretty excited about those. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to unbox those for you guys because I haven't even seen them, haven't worn them. I just pulled the box out. I'm excited for these. I've never actually bought a decent pair of fishing glasses, and that's the most expensive that I've ever bought. Not saying they are expensive, it's just that's the most expensive sunglasses I've ever bought. Usually I stick to the Walmart stuff it's like 14 bucks if that and go fishing hey i mean it works but i wanted a nice pair so the grande banger so racha crawl we're gonna call it that another square bill but bigger grande banger sexy shad Again, for all the bangers, I have two of those each. Or wait, yeah, that's not even the banger. These are the recons. Let me slide them down a little bit. Chartreuse, black back, grande banger. That accidentally came up, I guess. Yeah, I could have swore I ordered a frog, but I don't, I don't think I did. I don't know. I have to check it. But I didn't see the frog in there. Maybe I took it off. Grande Banger Citrus Shad These lures are going to be freaking killer dude I'm telling you Recon in your Sriracha Crow uh, Again I don't care that I'm saying that wrong If I am A little bit of a deep diver For the crankbait Another recon. Mondo Shad. Had to get it. Recon. Citrus Shad. Yes, sir. Recon. Sexy Shad. Yup. And, of course, you know, I'm a huge top water fanatic. Nightclub. That black popper, dude, the blooper, I'm excited to throw that. I caught one last year on the Ghost Gill uh, blooper, which I found another one because I ended up losing one, but found another one. Love jerk baits ever since last year, and I figured I'd try out Guggen's. I've never thrown their jerk baits. I've watched plenty of videos of them using them, and they tear them up. So... Silver Flash, of course. Got to get that shiny reaction from those guys. Let's make it look like a panic and bait fish. This is going to kill them. That'll even kill Striper around here. Uh, the Junior Scout. Go skill color. Go skill number six. Junior Scout. Smaller profile. Nothing wrong with dial sizing when that bait's a, or when that bite's just a little bit slower. You want to throw that jerk bait out there, so I downsize this one right here. I absolutely love the sexy shad. I love it on all of them. That sexy shad, I'm definitely going to be throwing that a whole bunch this year. All right, there's those, and I got three other lures, the same. They're made by Lucky Craft. They are popping spook baits. Like I said, I'm a top water fanatic. And this is the Gunfish 117 Bone Pro Blue. Got that bluish, purplish back. A little bit of shiny reflectiveness going there on the sides of the blue head. Yellow belly, chartreuse belly. A little feather off the end. Where I'm going, 
And where I might be going on Saturday, this is going to get it done, I promise. That's definitely going to get it done. This is going to get it done just as much as the other one if I ended up tying this on. But again, this is Flake Flake Golden Sexy Minnow. Gunfish 117. I'm really hoping to land some solid bass when I'm going. If I do end up going on Saturday. A little morning trip. Don't hurt nobody. This is the Gunfish 117 BE Gill. So it's got the colors of a bluegill. Kind of got a slight stripe pattern going on in there. Kind of like a bluegill or a brim. Got the blue spot right around the gill going over to the blue back. This is going to be solid. I absolutely love every little bit of these lures. I stayed up. I wanted to take a nap, but I didn't. Guggen is just taking over everything. And my cat just totally jacked that up. <laughs> Playing in the box. Give me one sec, yo. All right, we're back. Had to fix that. Cat tried jumping up in the box. Mondo Optics. I am super excited to open these up. Oh, man, this is so cool. Again, like I said, this is the most expensive, nice pair of fishing glasses that I've ever bought and I love that it comes with a case the logo catch code all right let's open them up and get them out boom I had to get the ones with the green lens a little bit of blue in there I love that design I have the Guggen Squad logo on there. Apologize. Nope, it just says Mondo Optics. Guggen Squad logo on there somewhere. No? It just says Mondo Optics. But I got the green lens because of Devil Dog Outdoors colors. These are the Largy Lookers. Super, super awesome. I'm going to buy a cloth so I can keep the lens clean. As you can see, already just pulling it out. Oh, there's the Guggen Squad logo. Okay. It's on the lens itself. That makes sense. Let's try them on. These things are comfortable. Usually, I'm all about wearing glasses like this. As you can see, it's got the green-blue look to it, too. I usually love wearing glasses like this, but this doesn't feel that bad. It fits comfortably. Like it seats well on my face. Like it belongs on my face. And these are going to help me catch some bass. I always thought that was crazy. If you ever looked at your phone with polarized sunglasses and you turn your head sideways, it actually like makes your screen dark. It's pretty weird. But yeah, that's what I was doing. But these things are nice, dude. I love them. Hell yeah. By the way, not sponsored or pro staff by Guggen in any way whatsoever. I can't even get a response from them guys. So I highly doubt they'll even see this video. I mean, if they do. Hey guys, what's going on? I just bought a whole bunch of Guggen baits and Mondo Optics. Because I'm going to kill it this year. Oh, man. And I'm super excited. Get a whole bunch of footage for you guys. Do reviews myself on how they're doing in the waters where I fish in the area that I live. So, I know those guys live in, like, Texas. And uh, there is one Guggen that lives here in Maryland. He's not too far, either. He's about 35, 40 minutes away from me. He lives in Ellicott City. One rod, one reel. I've never run into him fishing, though, ever, and I guess that's because I never really go where he goes, other than the trout spot. There's a trout spot that he goes to that I have ventured to and caught plenty of trout. But, uh, yeah, guys, this is the biggest 
order I've ever made for tackle. And I'm super excited, super stoked to get all of this in the tackle boxes. Ready to go on the water for the tournaments this year. Uh, just fun fishing, like pond hopping when we're out there destroying ponds this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. I got a whole bunch of stuff, as you guys can see, from the Recon to the Grande Banger Mini Recon. The regular Banger, Scout, Scout Junior. You got your Mondo, uh, what the hell are they called again? The Mondo Worms. I got the Mondo Worms, the Dragon Drops, Lunker Log. The bandito bugs dude i stick with the bandito bug because you for anybody who's ever watched me in any of the fishing videos that i actually have released which isn't really a whole lot right now but um you'll see i'm throwing a jig and it's some kind of creature bait and when these guys released their creature baits i was like i gotta try that and i'm super glad that they have it in white because that right there in california if you don't know and you're watching this video now you know them white creature baits when they're spawning bro just slap it on a shaky head and boom you're good but yeah that's all the tackle that i got i got three lucky crafts and everything else is googing dude all the way up to the shades so like i said super excited to get out there on the water try these out do some lure reviews um to see how they're swimming straight out of the box if i gotta dial in any of these crankbaits which i'm sure i might have to i mean i've never really used a crankbait straight out of the box and it just be perfect you know you get that wobble where it goes left or it goes right and you just gotta take pliers and adjust the bill just a little bit but yeah i've never been a huge crankbait fanatic i've only ever caught one bass on a crankbait and that was out in california you guys saw the picture of that monster bass he was just super skinny and only weighed four pounds so and that was in a tournament too so i'm super excited to see how these crankbaits do on rivers and ponds and maybe some bigger lakes who knows but i'll get this stuff out there and i hope to get plenty of video for you guys so Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you guys have not done so yet, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so you're notified every single time we upload a video. We do have a whole bunch coming to you guys this year. This year we are cracking down. Not on just the fishing, but also the hunting at the end of the year. Hunting season is still in, but I think I'm done for the year. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Like our page on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. And if you also haven't done so, go check out our podcast on spotify anchor fm apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, you name it we are out there 10 different platforms so i highly doubt you will not be able to reach it i do have a lot of plans with the uh podcast so if you guys haven't done so make sure you tune in i will announce everything that i'm trying to do there and eventually work our way into a video here on youtube for you guys and everywhere else facebook this is going to find its way to facebook instagram for like IGTV and then just a Facebook video. So. Oh, before I end the video completely, I've decided I'm not gonna put everything that I got into a tackle box. Shoot, hold on, before I forget. I'll show y'all what I did. All right, so here's what we got going on. Sorry, it's on the floor. This pile of stuff, all these lures, I'm going to find a home for in my tackle box. This stuff here, I have doubles of. All of them, except for... Wait, no, yeah, I, I even have a double of that and the blooper. So I got all this stuff. I have doubles of all that. I have extras of every single one of the soft plastics. Except for those. I already have a section of the white bandito bugs in one of my tackle boxes. That's just going in there because it's only one pack that I have in there. So those are going to fill that up to the top in the tackle box. I basically have like a Guggen soft bait. Um, like bandito bug tackle box but it's all this and this stuff here i'm gonna figure out how to store it i'm gonna make it kind of look like a tackle shop almost for myself i'm gonna just like hang these up around on my wall 
somewhere or store them somewhere nice and neat that way if i ever lose one of these i just got to remember which one i lost and then come home and boom i got an extra except for the mini recon this guy i got four of those so that was an accident I think I do have the mini recons over here. I do. I have one of each color going up. So, that's all my extras. This is what I'll have in the tackle box. I gotta find a home for them. So, I'm not carrying all of this stuff out on the water because God forbid something happened. But that there is gonna find a home. That there is going on the wall. So, that's how I'll end this video. Thank you all for tuning in. As I said before, subscribe, follow, follow, like, share, comment, bell for notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.